Hello everyone, my name is Zelda Kelly, I'm with Psychic Secrets, and today is your weekly reading. As we're coming at the end of September and going into the first day of October, so it goes from September 25th of 2022 to October 1st. Can you believe it? And now we are in the fall, and I'm just so excited about this time of year. So thank you so much, first of all, for being here with me. This is a general reading for all signs, and it's not going to resonate where you're not going to connect. Not everybody is going to connect with this. But if you do connect with it, then I think that's wonderful. Take the part that connects with you. So we're going to get started for this weekly reading. This is exciting. So thank you so much for being here. All right, let's get started. I shuffled off camera. I did want to do a few shuffles. This is what we're going to do. Traditionally, I just take the cards. It's the Eight of Swords, the Emperor card. We're going to lay him up there. And then this is the Two of Cups. All right, second row, we're going to lay out that's the Five of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Sun card. Now, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Hanged Man. So definitely, we've got some confirming to do. We've got a lot of work to do. I'm going to put this little fella here to the side, and I'm going to take these cards down here so we can talk about what's up here in the front row. Going into this week... I feel it's very imperative that you do some research, but I also feel that there is some regret. You feel that there is a regret over maybe some, what you feel is a past mistake, even maybe a little bit of guilt over a past mistake. And going into this next week, there's a healing. This Emperor Energy, I love him. Uh, he he just kind of gives me this wisdom of Solomon vibe. You know, he's got this red robe, which is very passionate, but he's also got this very gray stone looking throne that is hard. And but I'm going to say that he is impartial. You see, he's got his, well, his armor on, which means that well, he's at the ready to take on whatever he needs to take on. But the terrain behind him is even tough and rough. That doesn't mean that he's tough and rough. That means that he's used to that. He's used to seeing everything that has ever been coming down the pike for him. I think that's you. I think that you've made it through. And actually, with this emperor energy, I think we all should strive to be this emperor that has the wisdom rules with wisdom, makes decisions based on wisdom. I think that's you, and I think you have been. I think that someone actually blindsided you, in, and it hurt. It, it basically not only hurt your feelings, but it hurt the relationship that you had. There is a reconciliation coming. Now, if this, it could be family, it could be friends. I'm, I'm thinking that it it's a relationship, oh, I'm going to say maybe friendship even more than friendship. But whatever the case may be, you're going to be coming together and working this out. Now, I love this. I know there's a technical name for this, but do you see these snakes? They're just like the snakes that are on the symbol for the medical field. Healing, when you come together... And theirs looks like apologies, reconciliation, coming together, sharing together. This can be almost like a medicine. It's, it's good for the soul. It's good for, for, and it will be good for both of you, this reconciliation. So I think you're going to be coming into the week not really knowing where you stand, but you've made some good judgment. And this reconciliation will be happening. Now, Let's take these cards here. And it's funny that we have an emperor and a king together because definitely that is a ruling energy. But you see this, you see this five of cups. 
This five of cups means that yes, there's there's still some things going on. This person here is thinking that there were mistakes made, guilt, regret, and sometimes we focus so hard on what we don't have or what we've lost that we don't well remember or we forget what we do have and that we actually what we do have is in much better shape than what we don't we get hung up on that sometimes i think based on what i'm seeing here there's been a lot of that energy happening now with this king of swords and the emperor coming this king of swords he's definitely a ready he's he's ready and and he's tough but he's also compassionate as well this this king brings together a i'm going to say i'm going to say a energy that is a very good energy for you so i've got to say this this sun card is your healing and it matches this card perfectly and with this card you're no you're no longer going to be dangling thinking that there's nothing going on thinking wondering wishing hoping that's what this card means and even so, now listen, I, I've got to say this. You see this around this fellow's head and he's dangling. He's still enlightened. There still is an intellect there. Even though he's in a distressed position, there is still an enlightenment that means even during this hard time, you're still getting divine guidance. And I think that's what you've been doing. You've been praying and you've been meditating on the situation of a reconciliation. That is going to happen. This sun card, everything warm, fuzzy, everything wonderful and fresh start. These two come together very, very well. So let me get, I want to do some confirmations here. Here we go. Confirmation. Here we are. Okay, so I'm not going to shuffle because I've got this card here. And if I take it away, then that's going to, we're going to have to open up the, another channel to see what's on the bottom. So what we're going to do, I've already shuffled. Spirit knows where direction we're going. <laughs> I love this. This is exactly what I've been talking about. Is this faith and hope. And that you've needed balance really this whole time. And it doesn't surprise me that you do need the balance. Because look at the difference of the cards here. Look at, look at these differences. On one hand, you're dangling, you're upset, you're certainly out of balance. But you're still enlightened enough to have this balance card come to you. And you see, this is not only a balance of your spiritual your physical, but it is a balance of your subconscious and your conscious. You see how she's pouring the waters out of jug. I mean, that, that takes a little talent to be in that position and pour out and, you know, whatever. But this whole card means balance, fresh start, and it basically goes together with the sun and the star. What, what a wonderful ending to this week. What a wonderful time for you. I love this. I love this for you. And yes, the week starts out hard, but I can also tell you that it's going to end in a very good way. There's going to be this reconciliation that you've wanted. And actually, sometimes during this time when we're separated, it gives each party a time to think, a time to grow, and I believe that there's a great possibility that the relationship will be even better because you're learning how you appreciate each other more and more. I think this is going to be a great week with you. And I know that things are going to go in your way. How? Well, because they always do. Everything always works out for you. Okay? So I want to thank you so much for watching. And I wish you a wonderful week going into 
this first week of October. And remember, October 2nd, the Mercury retrograde is over. Thank the Lord. <laughs> I know you think that too. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. That helps out a lot. And share it if you like. And I will see you again next time. Have a very lovely week. Bye for now.